A cargo ship attacked by Houthi rebels in the Red Sea has sunk. It's the first vessel lost since the Yemeni group began targeting commercial shipping that it says is linked to Israel. The British-owned Rubimar was carrying more than 40,000 tons of fertilizer when it was hit by a missile and began taking in water nearly two weeks ago. Yemen's internationally recognized government is warning that the sinking could cause an environmental catastrophe. Let's bring in Julian Dresanti. He's the regional director for Greenpeace and joins me from the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Welcome to DW. So a sunken vessel with more than 40,000 tons of fertilizer. We just mentioned Yemen's government warning of an environmental catastrophe. So just how bad is this? Yeah, let me first thank you for hosting me. Well, it's a, it's a million dollar question. It's very hard to answer this question because we really need to understand what the situation is. We don't have first-hand information of what the cargo is and uh, how it is stored. Um, the information that we've seen in the news is that it is most likely am ammonium nitrate, and there are a lot of risks associated with uh, such spill. We need to understand first that ammonium nitrate is a very, um, uh, it's a fertilizer with high acidity, and therefore such risk can disrupt the pH balance uh, of this marine ecosystem and cause various effects on species in the water column. Uh, global ocean acidification is a global phenomenon that we are currently experiencing due to uh, excess CO2 in the atmosphere because of our addiction to fossil fuel. And therefore, such global phenomena will be exacerbated by, by such spills. A another important potential impact is, uh, the, is that the large influx of nitrogen uh, due to the spill in the marine ecosystem, will fuel what is called as algal bloom. And this algal bloom will create an imbalance as well in the marine ecosystem and will have cascading effect throughout the food web and might therefore impact other species that are reliant on this ecosystem. So depending also on the sea current, this algal bloom can, be, can find itself uh, near the coast and could directly impact the precious corals of, uh, of the Red Sea by blocking direct sunlight from reaching them. So really, in essence, uh, a spill of, of ammonium nitrate fertilizer in the sea not only poses immediate risk of localized acidification and toxicity, but also has the potential to, to disrupt uh, the delicate balance of marine ecosystems, leading to harmful algal blooms and impacting various species within the ecosystem. So this is clearly a very serious incident, but is there anything that can be done? Is there a way to clean the water or purify it or somehow limit the damage? So, um, again, it's hard to tell because of the lack of information, and that's why the immediate action that needs to be taken is to provide immediate access to the, ship, to the shipwreck site. Uh, for, an expert, to, for an expert response team to assess the situation and swiftly devise and implement an emergency plan. We need to understand, um, so what is the cargo on board? Is it only ammonium nitrate? Are there other uh, toxic material or other material in, in the cargo? How well is the, uh, is the material stored? Is the material already leaking? Can it be retrieved? So many unanswered questions that, we'll need, that we need to be answered um, as soon as possible. That was Julian Dresati from Greenpeace. Thank you so much. My pleasure.